Nearly three years after her death, some of Gabby Petito's own words have been released to the public in the form of a letter to shine light on the problems that proved fatal. On September 19, 2021, authorities found the body of the 22-year-old Petito near a campsite in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. She'd been missing since September 11th. She had been dead from strangulation for three to four weeks. Media outlets kept the public appraised as police followed clues back to Petito's boyfriend, Brian Laundrie. Laundrie was found dead in October of that year from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, submerged in water and largely reduced to bones. In June 2024, the FBI released 366 pages of documents that provide further insights into Petito and Laundrie's fatal relationship. There were clues early on that things were not well between the young couple. They'd been traveling together and living in a van in the American Southwest when the Moab, Utah Police Department caught up with the sobbing Petito on August 12th. Witnesses reported seeing Laundrie strike her less than a month before she was reported missing. Petito says in the body cam footage, Hi, we've just been fighting this morning. Some personal issues. Ultimately, police believe that it was nothing serious and let the couple go. Now, with the FBI document release, we can read Gabby pleading to Brian in her own words. In a handwritten letter, she writes, You know how much I love you, so, and I'm writing this with love, just please stop crying and stop calling me names, because we're a team and I'm here with you. It's not clear why the FBI released these files now. They contain written overviews of the case and a chronology of actions taken by authorities. There's also a detailed evidence recovery log. There are pictures of a laptop and an iPhone box, shoes, clothing, boxes of knickknacks, drawings like that of a skull with the words trust no one next to it, books from Cormac McCarthy and Neil Gaiman, boxes of ammunition, and much more. It's a lot to take in. There's also Petito's letter in which she apologizes to Laundry for getting, quote, upset for a dumb piece of paper. She then writes, just try to understand. Yes, I can be a child sometimes. I know, but it's because you give me this energy and I just love you too much. Like so much it hurts. So you in pain is killing me. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm frustrated there's not more I can do. Though the letter is undated, it seems she wrote it before she and Brian went on their extended road trip. She references being in New York. Petito's letter portrays her as a sensitive and thoughtful, though confused, person who wanted to make peace with her boyfriend. Other handwritten passages written in Laundry's handwriting portray a potentially insightful yet disturbed young man, especially oddly prescient words like, the dead have a light over them. People can point at individuals for being evil, but not groups. In February 2024, the Petito family settled a civil lawsuit against the Laundry family for emotional distress. The Petitos claimed that the Laundries knew that Brian had murdered Gabby before her body was discovered, but said nothing about it. In late 2022, the families had already reached a $3 million settlement and a separate wrongful death lawsuit. Rolling Stone reported that the Petitos' attorney said of the rationale behind that lawsuit, the Petito family lost their daughter and they were also denied the opportunity to confront her killer. There are laws put in place to protect victims and those laws were not followed. Given that such a confrontation never happened, these newly released documents are all the Petitos have left to try to understand what happened. But whether they'll provide some comforts or simply reopen old wounds is unclear. 